Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a sketch challenge where I will time myself and try to finish a sketch within 20 minutes. I'm not usually a quick sketcher and I spend sometimes hours just trying to get a sketch just right. So today is about letting go and just getting it done within the time frame. Just do it right. So I will be sketching this little gift shop or stationery store in Penang called Kazimi. And they have handmade products, stickers and um, custom notebooks. So it is literally my favorite kind of place. So um, I took this picture myself and I love the details in this uh, shop. And because we have only a limited time, I will try to just capture the essence and I won't be uh, and I will be simplifying this piece a little bit. So I just started the first 10 minute timer and I will be doing two separate 10 minute timers so that um, I will be able to sketch with a pen in the first session and then take a short break and maybe do a little bit of adjustments and then I will continue with the second session whereby I will be painting with watercolor. As you can see, I established the ground level and also the height of the roof for this piece so that it is centered on this page. And today I'm using the Lamy Safari fountain pen with a medium nib and also Noodler's ink as usual. And uh, this ink is water resistant so that it does not bleed when I apply watercolor later. So I'm really being loose here and I am not um, fussing over the lines too much. And in fact, I exaggerated the slant on the roof there a little bit. And um, that's okay. I really like how it's slanting down and gives um, this uh, store very a very interesting vibe. And um, I'm really trying to just capture the essence of the place without spending too much time overthinking. So I think timing your sketches is a great way to practice for sketching outside or urban sketching because we often only have a set amount of time to sketch outside. Plus, if you are like me, sometimes um, we overthink our sketches and take forever to finish. Or like me, I don't finish at all sometimes so or or it takes me like a few weeks to come back and finish it so this um is a great way to just finish it within this time frame that i have today or you could treat this as a practice sketch or a thumbnail sketch and play around with the color scheme um, change things up a little bit so that you already have a guide for a more detailed sketch that you might want to do later on. As you can see, I started with the biggest structure and now I am moving on to the many plants at the front of the store. And here I am trying to do some continuous line work, which is I'm trying to outline the basic shapes and contours of this plant with uh, one continuous line. Of course, I didn't succeed in doing it in with one line only, but basically with one continuous lines and then adding a few strokes later on. So it is interesting the results you can get when you try to draw a shape with one continuous line. You can do it for um, plants, you can do it for people, you can do it for many, many subjects. And I find that look um, very appealing, um, this continuous line. 
I don't do it very often, so I would love to, you know, add it more to my sketches because、um, it, it is very loose. It is a very loose way to sketch, and I think it is very good for when you want to really sketch fast. So I did not speed up this video. So all this is in real time, and if you have watched my other videos,、um, maybe you already noticed that this is me sketching, sketching fast, because I am already four minutes in, around four minutes in, and I haven't even drawn、um, the main storefront yet. So I am pushing myself to sketch faster in this video. Now onto the little lanterns and hanging plants on the front. They are quite important for the storefront, even though they are the small、um, things. They are quite important, so I'm drawing them first. And because they are in the front, I have to get them in first before I draw the、um, interior door and the lines for the windows. So this is the final minute on my timer, and I am adding as many details as I can at this stage. 
And as you can see, I am omitting a lot of the details that you can see um, inside the shop as well as around the shop. So I'm trying to add as much as I can, but at the same time trying not to fuss and uh, go too detailed. All right, so the 10 minutes are up and most of the things that I wanted to include in this are done. So I am quite happy with how this one turned out. However, there are some minor things that I did forget to include, like the texture on the wood and also on the bricks, which I felt would really contribute more to this piece. So I'm just going to spend around a minute or so to do some small touch-ups. Alright, so I still see something that I need to adjust and I know I'm going over time a little bit but if I don't fix these things, I'm not going to like the final art artwork. So a few more seconds just to tweak that part and I think it's a little bit wonky at this, at this point but I do like um, how loose it is and yeah, I think it's done. So we're going to leave that ink to dry for a few minutes. And in the meantime, let's get the watercolors and brushes ready. And um, if you don't already know, all the materials that I'm using are in the links down in the description below. So I don't plan on doing any fancy stuff. So 10 minutes is barely enough to get the basic colors and shadows in, but we shall try and see what happens. So I'm going to start the clock again. And I didn't mix the I didn't mix the colors in advance for this, so I will mix all the colors as I go along. So the first color that I'm going to be painting is the green and I am now mixing sap green plus yellow ochre. And now I am dabbing in these loose strokes like so for all the plants at the front and I'm using a lot of paint and a lot of water so that um, it does not dry instantly it stays wet for an amount of time and then after I have added all the light green um, paint I will come in with a, a darker green um, using some ultramarine blue mixed into that um, green paint
All right, so the greens are done, and I'm moving on to the second color, which is burnt sienna. And I don't often use only one color, so I decided maybe today we will use more pure colors right out of the pan, and it will be faster too. No need to mix every color that I want. So here I am using the Winsor & Newton Cotman um, quarter inch filbert. So it is quite handy for painting these squarish strokes for like wood or for doing brickwork. So it's nice to have lots of different brushes to paint with and not just the round brush. But currently I don't have a huge variety because I just like keeping it simple but I would love to hear your thoughts on what is your favorite brush and what kinds of brushes you use and what kind of brush is the most versatile for you so leave it down in the comments below so that everyone can share their own thoughts and we can um, learn a little bit from each other maybe To make certain areas darker, I added some burnt umber to the burnt sienna. Now I'm on to the third color and I'm mixing ultramarine, cerulean blue hue and burnt umber together to make this dark blue color which I'm going to use to paint in the shadows. Here I'm using mostly ultramarine and a tad bit of cerulean blue. So this creates some bright, very bright blue shadows and it is almost pure ultramarine.
So right now I'm coming in with some pure cerulean blue hue for the windows and I'm making sure that the paint is very very wet and then I'm coming in with a different brush which has burnt umber on it and I'm mixing um, those paints on the page. So I'm always remembering as well to leave some white spots for reflections on the windows. And for some of the darkest areas, I'm painting with the same ultramarine, cerulean blue and burnt umber mix. So I did lose track of time painting this, so you can see me painting and mixing faster and faster. But the timer did go off before I could finish the shadows. So I painted for an extra around 30 seconds because the, well, this really cannot be considered done yet. So this is the outcome and I think it definitely needs more details in the lanterns and also more shadows too. I do like it at this moment but it definitely needs more refining. So I guess I sort of failed this challenge because I went over time so much but I personally, personally I loved the final outcome of this piece and the looseness of this sketch is just what I was aiming for. And I do think it is a great training for me to sketch faster. If I hadn't timed myself, the outcome would definitely have been something else, I think. So how much time you spend on something will definitely um, influence the outcome. And it just... Um, I think this goes to show that it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a few hours of work for one sketch. You can definitely spend less time on it and then you will have a different outcome. Not necessarily better or worse, you know? So here I am doing some little refinements with a small brush and I'm adding that uh, those dots of orange to certain parts of the sketch as well as to the lanterns.
All right, so it's done. So for a little bonus round, let's add some splashes of paint. Okay, so I went a little bit overboard with that splatter and I'm trying to reduce the intensity of the paint right here using a wet brush and a cloth. I added lots of splatters for this one using all the same colors that we used before and uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. So if you painted or sketched together with me, do let me know down in the comments below. I would also like to hear your thoughts on this challenge. As always, if you found this video helpful to you, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.